One of the most iconic symbols of Thailand must be the tuk tuk. They're part and parcel of the city, but did you know that as a foreigner, you could actually drive your own tuk tuk? And I'm not talking about through the congested streets of Bangkok. I'm talking about something much more special. Wow! A self-driven tuk-tuk tour around Chiang Mai in the north of Thailand, taking in all the countryside and all of the beauty that that region gives you. And on this trip, you won't just be driving the tuk-tuk, you'll be visiting a local temple, you'll be going to see a few elephants, you'll be having some lovely food, you'll be bathing the elephants, and you'll also be taking a bamboo raft down a river. I found out about this by looking on Facebook and I came across this company which is the Tuk Tuk Club and they organise day trips where you drive a Tuk Tuk but you can also have longer trips of several days where you can get further afield. I booked myself in with Air Asia and the one way flight was 1300 baht. Yeah, that's my flight at the top of the list there. And onto the escalator and just over an hour's flight from Bangkok ahead of schedule I was in Chiang Mai. Yeah, please inform you that we have 10 minutes ahead of schedule. For your safety, please remain seated until you arrive. A taxi down to the hotel that I'm staying at. This is the Nan Niman 13 Boutique Hotel. There's a full review elsewhere on my channel. And this is Big. He is our guide for the day and a lovely guy he was as well. And he's just explaining that before they let you drive the tuk-tuk, well, you need a driving license of some sort, but you also need some tuition on how to drive a tuk-tuk. I'm not sure whether they're easy or not. And the good news is, unlike many of the ones in Bangkok, they do use an automatic gearbox. So if you can drive a scooter, I think you can drive one of these tuk-tuks as well. Big made sure that we knew what we were doing by making us go forward, reverse, go around some cones. I don't think it was quite as fast as I've made it look on the video. Once we were all okay, it was time to hit the road and some of the roads are small country lanes. You also go on main roads as well. I was really lucky with the weather, but it had been raining previously. So we did have to go through a little flood area, but these things can take it. And then we were at a local temple. You walk up the steps and uh, it's still quite warm for walking. There's a temple at the top. And then the walk down is a lot easier and it's time to set off for the next stop. Oh, I have a friend. <laughs> En route we did stop to get our life jackets fitted and also Big bought some snacks for us to eat. And then out onto one of the main roads and we were heading for the first place of interest which is our lunch stop and also the chance to meet some elephants. And after a simple but really delicious meal it was time to feed the elephants and then walk with them down to the river because it was their bath time. And although there are some fences around where the elephants are kept, they really were free to move around and they looked like they were wonderfully kept and happy. There's a 20 minute walk down to the river, so you do have to bring some footwear that you can use. And it's advisable to bring a change of clothes because if like me you fall over and get wet, you're going to need that for the way back home. The elephants don't have any such problem, they just stop to eat everything that is in their path. But eventually they did manage to make their way down to the local river and it's up to you if you want to join in and help them to bathe. 
whether they give you a choice about whether you want to get wet is a completely different story. So after spending some time down there, it was time to get into the back of a pickup truck and that's going to take us to our next stop. Our next stop is Bamboo River Rafting. And these rafts are fairly simply built, just, just a few bamboo sticks held together with string as far as I could see. You just sit there and do nothing because the guy at the front will take you down. Sometimes you can't go down the full length of the river because the water's running too fast and in fact the other people with me in this group did get off. But my guy, he just went for it and I went all the way down the river in about 20 to 30 minutes. Along the way it's just so natural, it's so beautiful you really do feel like you're miles from anywhere. The sky was blue, the trees were green, the birds were singing, and I didn't have a care in the world. At the end of the bamboo rafting, you get back in the pickup truck and that takes you back to your tuk-tuks because you're going to drive yourself back to the minivan and that's what takes you to your hotel. This was the one day trip and really it's like a taster for the longer trips that they do and I for one am definitely coming back. I'll leave a link to this company down in the description. I paid for this trip, it wasn't sponsored in any way the normal cost is 5,000 baht for the day trip and obviously more expensive for the longer trips. But I can say for absolutely sure, I thought it was worth every baht that I spent and I'm gonna go back for more. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like and subscribe. I'll see you again very soon for other videos around Chiang Mai and the rest of Thailand. But from me, Balloon Chaser, Bye for now, see you next time, bye bye.